Hello, welcome. I'm going to scroll down in a moment so, so you can see the whole problem. Maybe just pause it, read through it, give it a shot. All right, this is the problem. But let's just start, start solving it together. Uh, it's a lot to read. So Gabriel performed an experiment to see if planting 13 tomato plants in black plastic mulch leads to larger tomatoes. Oh boy, okay. So you start reading these problems and, and probably what you should start doing is underlining things or marking things or writing things because there's so much happening that you probably don't care about in this question that you have to force your brain to remember it uh, as you go along. So for example, I'm going to say this, 13 tomato plants in black plastic mulch, okay, is leading to larger tomatoes then if 13 plants are planted without. Then what I do, I don't see them labeled here, I'm going to call this group A, and I'll call this group B, and then for myself what I would say is it's supposed to tell us that essentially A is greater than B, right? A is making larger tomato plants from the black plastic mulch. Okay. He observed that an average weight of the tomatoes from tomato plants grown, grown in black plastic mulch. So that's, I'm going to label that for myself. I feel like I've made this easier now by calling that in A. Was five ounces greater, there it is, than those from the plants planted without much mulch. And that is B, right? Without mulch and then with black plastic mulch. Okay, so I'm just gonna step back. We're growing tomatoes, and even if we don't know what mulch is, we know it's, he just did, did something to group A, and he saw that it led to bigger tomatoes. They were five ounces greater. To determine if the observed difference is statistically significant. Okay, I don't know if I buy this, but the idea is that he wants to know, wow, they're bigger in group A. And then he wants to know, does that matter, right? Um, so he re-randomized the tomato groups a hundred times, a lot of times, in the simulation to study these random differences in the mean weights. The output of the simulation is summarized here. So, okay, why do this? You got these tomatoes, what is it, 13 tomato plants, so we don't know how many tomatoes we're looking at because um, every plant yields a certain amount of tomatoes, but you know, he, he was recording all that data. And the idea is, you know, you have group A, I'll write this down, I'll move i just use this, move this over. You know, you've got this data for A and B, and let's say A is like, you have a five ounce tomato, a six ounce, a five ounce, a seven ounce tomato, so on and so forth, lots of tomatoes. And then for B, you've got, you know, things that are slightly smaller, four, five, four, six, and then who knows like what the rest was. But the idea is that, he, um, if you just randomly pick the tomatoes from both plants and mix them up, would you expect to get a bigger difference than five ounces or or not, right? In other words, how significant is that difference? So pretend, you know, he's Gabriel is the person doing it. So Gabriel sets the experiment up, grows these plants, and then you just go in and pick them all and make two baskets of them. What would you find? Would you find the difference in weights is bigger than five ounces or smaller? Because if you're randomly picking tomatoes and getting a bigger difference um, than five ounces, well, then the random, the random selection matters more than the experiment. That's the idea. So you're using randomness to figure out is your result meaningful? Because if you just pick them randomly and get a bigger difference than the study, then the then the black plastic mulch in this case is not making that big of an impact. And you can see, right here, where's five about here? Okay, so look at this. Just by randomly reshuffling the tomatoes, you're getting a difference of five quite often, and you're getting a difference of more than five, <laughs> even more than that. So maybe a difference of like 20 ounces on average, that would be really significant, but ten, you know, 10, five, zero, right? That's not so significant. I mean, that's happening a lot in random shufflings, but so is five. So they want us to say which is an appropriate inference that can be drawn here, and Let's look at two, that's the answer. It says, there was an effect observed. Okay, so he observed an effect, five ounces, that could be due to the random assignment of plants to the group. So, you know, you see it here. It's possible to get five ounces just from the randomness, not from the black plastic mulch. So that's, that's an inference that's pretty fair. 
choice one says there was no effect observed between the two groups. Well, there was. There was lots of differences here. Three says there is strong evidence to support the hypothesis that tomatoes from plants planted in black plastic mulch are larger than those without. No, there's not, because even just randomly reshuffling those tomatoes were getting way more than five ounces of difference. There is strong evidence to support the hypothesis that tomatoes from plants planted with, without mulch are larger. No, we, we don't see that. I mean, here, we don't know which group is which. It's the difference is in mean weight. So I'm, does it say A minus B? So, I mean, I guess negative differences, those would be situations where B, I think, is larger than A. So it is that is happening sometimes, but I don't know how significant that is. It's, it seems to be happening that A is typically larger than B, but again, these are random assignments, okay? Um, anyway, so the answer is two. Hope that helps.